Did you know that square dancing is the official state dance in 19 different states in the US? Yeehaw! Barishnikov continues to dazzle audiences from the stage, most recently in the theater dance music video fusion production, Man in a Case. The show is adapted by two short stories written by Anton Chekhov. Directed by Paul Lazar and Annie B. Parson of Big Dance Theater, the performance merges theater dance with digital technology. You can catch the show in Santa Monica at the Broad Stage through May 10. Protests have broken out in Brazil over the controversial death of 26-year-old professional dancer Douglas Rafael da Silva Perea. It is thought he was mistaken for a drug dealer by the police who proceeded to beat him to death. Residents infuriated by the police brutality have been gathering in protest, demanding an explanation for the police behavior. Riots have escalated and one man has been killed from a gunshot to the head. We mourn the loss of Perea and hope the residents of Brazil soon find peace. It's been more than 10 years since Avril Lavigne first graced the pop music scene, and yes people, she's still shocking us. Her newest video, Hello Kitty, is cool if not a little random. She uses all Asian dancers doing the most basic dance moves that surprisingly actually work. You know, it just goes to show you that it's not what you do, but it's how you do it that gets the job done. Starting as a core member and steadily working his way to become artistic director, Roy Kaiser is bringing 35 years with the Pennsylvania Ballet to a close as he announced he will be stepping down from his post. In light of the company's 50th season, he felt, you know, it was the right time to make the transition and to bring fresh leadership into the organization. He'll continue serving as artistic director until a successor is selected. Kaiser will, however, keep his ties as an artistic director emeritus. The Brazilian dance style Zouk is becoming all the craze. The dance style has its roots in the French Caribbean and is already wildly popular across Latin America, Europe, and Australia. And lately, more and more classes have been popping up here across the US. The Creole word Zouk means party, and it incorporates elements of partner dancing similar to tango, bachata, and salsa. The second annual Zook Congress was held in Los Angeles last week, drawing hundreds of participants who wanted to Zook the night away. Ha ha, party! <laughs> the music from across the pond is so hot right now. Swedish pop chanteuse Robin and her sidekicks Royskop have just dropped their summer anthem, Do It Again. This electronica infused pop perfection has one of the best bass lines and rhythms I've heard in a cool minute. Paired with my girl Robin's unique vocals, this one is definitely a surefire winner for your hot ass summer. A new mentorship prize called the award has been established and granted to its first two recipients, Rebecca Patek and Jen Rosenblatt. The award is a mentorship prize for emerging young choreographers in the New York experimental dance scene with a particular focus on innovation. A non-monetary prize, instead the winners receive a year of mentorship working under seasoned industry professionals. That's super cool. They also receive season passes to some of New York's key cultural and artistic hotspots, including the Dance Space Project, The Kitchen, and many more. Well, Dance Pluggers, that's gonna do it for me here at the Dance Plug Studios. Thank you for watching. Take a moment to get to know Plugger Piri Hammy, who was a star on the Thailand dance scene before making her big move to New York City. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm gonna hunt you down, and you know what's gonna happen after that. Until next time, I'm Jason J. Carter. Thank you for watching, and as always, Dance Plug has got you covered. See you later.